Costco is known for bulk items and great deals, and with that comes a lot of specialty foods and sweet treats. But my next guest turns to the big box store for her healthy organic food finds too. Carolyn Call has rounded up her eight favorite Costco finds, helping us flex that white, red, and blue card in a different direction. It's great to have you. Thank you for having me. Costco is your go-to, you say, specifically for organic food. It is. Well, I have six kids, so mm. it's a lot to feed. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to buy in bulk, but they have a lot of great options, organic or just even healthy. Let's jump into your grocery list, which I imagine will become a lot of our grocery list as well. Uh, first, peanut butter made your list. Yeah, so peanut butter, they've got the regular that so many are used to, the Skippy, but they also have their organic. They actually are the same prices. And what's crazy is this has added sugar in it. This one has no sugar in it. Our kids get too much sugar. So buy the one without the sugar. Talk to me about taste though. Those organic peanut butters can take some, there's some acclimation. Well, they have oil that hasn't been mixed in it, so you need to mix it well. If you don't mix it well, then it can taste a little different. The texture can fill yeah. off. All right, next on your list. So vegetable oil is something that a lot of people have in their house to just bake with, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it actually can be inflammatory and that's the root cause of a lot of health issues today, especially like depression, anxiety, things like that. Mm. So a better option is avocado oil. It's a big bottle. It is a big bottle, but when you're cooking for six, you need a big bottle. But this, just so you know, has no like weird taste. It's a neutral taste, so you can put it in brownies, cakes, muffins. Works for all types of baked goods, too. Yep. Good to know. Tomato sauce, kind of a grocery staple, a pantry staple. You like the Costco variety? So the Costco, again, has organic, which isn't like the reason I want to buy it, but this one actually has no sugar. There's too many mm. things out there with hidden sugar in them, and so if we can get rid of the hidden sugars, it's an easy way to make our meals healthier. We're getting more, more and more smart about sugar, but you're right, it's in the obvious ways. It's the hidden grams that we have to look for and be aware right, of. Right, like there's no need for it in tomato sauce yeah. or marinara sauce. Now, I would think tuna is a relatively healthy food anyway, but you've it got a better is. option. It is, and a lot of these are healthy, but there's just a better choice. Okay. And so like for this one, uh, mercury, there's a lot of talk about heavy metals and people, you know, mm -hmm. having too many heavy metals. So this one, they actually test all of the fish and they have 10 times less mercury than what the FDA um, suggests. Oh, nice, nice. So it's just a healthier option. And are the better, healthier options, Carolyn, always more money? They're not, and in fact, like this peanut butter is the exact same price. Okay. So everyone has this, like, there's this myth out there that's always expensive to buy organic, and that's not necessarily the case anymore. Depends on the product for yep. sure. All right, we're fueling, we're hydrating. What do you like to reach for at Costco? Okay, so everybody loves Gatorade, but Gatorade has got a lot of artificial, um, some have artificial sweeteners, artificial dyes, things like that. Mm -hmm. There is body armor out there that uses coconut water. So you get these nutritious vitamins, minerals, but it doesn't have the artificial dyes or the artificial sweeteners. All right, when we say pass the syrup, most of us aren't even getting real maple. Exactly, <laughs> right? you know it, that's what's in here. Just a lot of caramel coloring and flavoring, yeah. where this is just true maple right from the tree. It's got some good vitamins, minerals, things like that. And again, so, might take some taste acclimating a little bit, right. but start them the young and they'll never <laughs> Know the difference. I'll never know. All right, talk to me about oat milk. So oats, there's a thing out there called glyphosate. It's in the it's the main ingredient in Roundup. It's on a lot of our oats these days, and so organic just tells you that the crops mm. have not been sprayed with glyphosate. So okay. glyphosate's just causing a lot of stomach issues, digestion digestive issues. All right, and rounding out your favorite list? And granola. This has vegetable oil in it. Vegetable oil can be inflammatory, where this, this is just all real foods. It's like nuts and seeds and honey, just real mm -hmm. good things for our body. And obviously, I mean, Costco is an easy reference for so many of us, but I think this proves the point no matter where you shop to read the label and, and do the work. Right. Are you constantly kind of doing the bottle flip and seeing what's behind? I am, and I actually just look for real food ingredients. That's mm -hmm. it, just keep it real simple. If you would have it in your pantry, it's a real food. If it says like mono and diglycerides, you probably don't have that in your pantry, so there's a better choice out there. If you can't pronounce it. There you go. <laughs> there might be a clue. You there did you very go. well, though. I'm glad I didn't have to say it. Well, thank you so much for the advice, the recommendations. Where can we hear more from you? So you can find me on Instagram or on Facebook or on TikTok these days at just.ingredients. Just.ingredients. Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate it. And we will post a list of all of Carolyn's Costco picks as well as a link to her social pages on our website. It's a great resource for you to check out after every show. Go to studio5.ksl.com. You've got category tabs at the top. You can search by category or also access the search bar in the upper right hand corner of your screen and search by topic or guest name. Studio5.ksl.com.